Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD. And yes, we're continuing our December build, our special build. And it's all about the motherboard today. And again, if you guys tuned in on the playlist or the part playlist or whatever you want to call it, I went over all the parts. And today we're doing the Gigabyte 970 Gaming SLI G1 Gaming Motherboard, which is awesome. It, this one is actually AMD processor. Uh, supported and I'm not doing Intel for some reason uh, and the only reason I'm not doing it because I, I think the very first build that I did with you guys was an Intel actually AMD then an Intel and I said to myself okay that's a pattern so why not continue with the pattern and do it an AMD and probably the next build I'll probably do an Intel uh, this guy supports WDR3 memory uh, it goes up to 64 gigs which is a huge plus supports USB 3.1 cool it does support unlock FX processors, which that's the processor that we have. We're going to go over that pretty soon. Uh, it is running a 970 chipset, woof, which makes it extremely awesome. So let's uh, get out the knife and uh, open this guy up. Open it in the back. And oh, one of the cool things about this guy is it supports N.2, which is a plus. And it also lights up. One of the cool things I love about Gigabyte is that uh, they have like a, a like a strip around the motherboard and lights up. And I think on the last build that I did, uh, I think I used Gigabyte and the strip actually lights up orange, which is a cool color. I got to figure out how to change that. Uh, it does tell you that you're able to customize it with the software. Again, you have to just download all the software, which I'm going to do. And let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh yeah, look at that, it's beautiful. All right, so this is the motherboard, which is inside a static bag, so we don't fry it. Let's take it out of here slowly. Ooh, and the colors, the colors are awesome. Red and black, right on, right there on Christmas. You know, it doesn't have green, but it's okay. Red is a nice, red and white is a nice color for Christmas time, right? So we're gonna put that to the side, take this box out of the way. Uh, we have some SATA cables, which is a plus, more SATA cables. We have a SLI NVIDIA uh, cable, which is cool. You can daisy chain our graphics cards. Probably not going to do that because uh, I'm actually using the FXX Radeon 480, RX 480 for this build. What else do we have? Oh, we have our... Um, uh, G connector, which allows you to extend the connections for the front panel. Definitely a must. We have our installation guide and uh, this is a plus. Do not lose this because this is your drivers. This is where uh, get your motherboard to talk to everything within your system. So this is a plus. Uh, sometimes I recommend you going online and getting the latest and greatest, but start with this first. We have another uh, user manual. Definitely going to go over that stuff. And last but not least, we have our input output panel for the backside of our uh, computer tower, which is awesome. All right, so let's uh, take this guy out of our static bag and uh, take a closer look. All right, so some of the key features on the motherboard. Oof, so beautiful. Uh, so we have our 20 gigabytes per second M.2 connection right here. Uh, this guy right here is our AMD 970 uh, chipset. Our AMD socket right here, which actually supports AM3+. Plus. Ooh, awesome. Uh, and uh, this little guy right here, right in the top, is actually our AS Media uh, USB 3.1 controller. You guys probably can't see it because it's really small. It's a really small chipset. Now, for our back panel connection, we have dual USB DAC up ports. Underneath that, we have our PS2 keyboard and mouse port, which is old school. We have two... 2.0 uh, USB ports. Next to that, we have uh, two more 3.1 Type A ports, which is USB. Next to that, we have uh, 3.0 USB ports. We have our RJ45 LAN port, uh, which is actually a one gigabyte per second, which is cool. Underneath that, we have uh, two additional 2.0 USB ports. Right next to your RJ45 port, we have our uh, audio panel port, which I like to call it because there's a bunch of audio stuff. The orange one is actually for your center subwoofer speaker outs. Right underneath that, we have our rear speaker outs. And then we have our optical SPDIF out connector. 
Uh, the blue one is for your line in. The green one is for your line out. And the last one, the pink one, is for your mic in jack. Okay, so I'm super excited about this motherboard and I can't wait. So let's actually take the motherboard and place it inside our uh, uh, computer tower, which is actually the Striker M from Rosewell. Uh, so let's get to it. Okay, so we have our Rosewell Striker M ATX uh, computer tower right here laid down. I took the side panel off. Uh, I have my ESD uh, strap, always a plus. You must have this to be on the safe side. Uh, I try to do best practice as much as possible. <laughs> so what we need to do is make sure you keep the manuals for your motherboard as well as for the computer tower because the computer tower manual actually goes over all those screws that it comes with. And you got to make sure that you pick out the, the risers or the stands off. I call these the risers because these little guys, you got to put them on the computer tower so you can rise up the motherboard So because you don't want the motherboard to touch the metal inside. And uh, also, depending on what computer tower you have, they also have like specialized uh, screws to uh, actually screw down the motherboard uh, within the tower. So you got to make sure you keep that manual. So uh, there's nine risers that I have to insert for the motherboard. The way that I know is if you take the motherboard, and you place it gently into uh, our uh, you know, computer tower. And I haven't put the, the I.O. panel yet. I haven't put that side panel yet for our import and output. So I'm probably going to do that first. But I want to make sure that I line everything up. So I have one here, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, so those are it right there. I'm gonna take the motherboard, I'm gonna put it right on top of our static bag. And I believe it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for this guy. So I'm gonna take our risers first and I'm gonna insert them, all right? Uh, I'm not gonna like tight them in as of yet because I just wanna have all of them in there. And then what I'm going to do is take the motherboard and place it on top of the risers and make sure it lines up. And then, then I start going in each one and tight them up so they won't get loose. Okay, so all the risers are placed in its hopefully correct order. And I'm going to take the motherboard right now and see if everything is lined up. If everything is lined up, I'm not going to screw it in yet because I need to put the input-output uh, side panel right here. So it looks like everything is lined up perfect. Awesome. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the motherboard again, put it on top of the static bag that it comes with. And let's put this cable over here in the side because I won't be needing that now. I'm going to screw down all our uh, risers. All right, so now all our risers are nicely secured and uh, that's awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is hook up our I.O. panel on the side right here, input, output. So let's uh, get this out of here. Open this guy up. I'm gonna take it out slowly because I don't wanna, you know, mess it up and break it, right? Okay, so we are gonna put this guy right here and uh, make sure it is lined up. So the way that you know it's lined up is that your panel should fit the side panel. So for this motherboard right here, we have the dual uh, USB DAC up ports, and those ports are right here on the sideline. So I'm going to place the panel facing that way, and we're gonna push until we hear that click. Awesome. And one cool thing about this uh, Gigabyte 970 motherboard is that the side panel or the input output panel has cushion. It has like, uh, this nice little cushion material. That's a first for me, which is pretty awesome. I think that's why it's so expensive. You get those little perks. All right, awesome. So it looks like it's nicely secure. And we're going to take our motherboard finally, and we're going to easily uh, put it in the angle and just insert it. And there we go, beautiful. And we're just gonna push lightly to the point that it is lined up to our um, to our risers. Good, good, good stuff. All right, so right now, 
I want to double check, make sure that everything is lined up to all the risers and we are going to start uh, hooking it up again depending on what tower you get make sure that you keep the manual because the manual would tell you uh, that little bag that comes inside the computer tower it has all those screws which screw goes to what I'm going to insert the middle one first it's also best that uh, you get a extended Phillips screwdriver because it makes it extremely easy to get into those tight corners and also it's magnetic but not magnetic to the point that it would damage the motherboard or anything like that, all right? So I'm not really doing any specific order. I'm like really random when it comes down to screwing down the motherboard. A lot of people like to follow a pattern, like do each corner or start in the middle. Uh, me, I'm basically everywhere when it comes down to screwing the motherboard down to the tower. And that's okay. All right, guys, so our motherboard is screwed down on our Striker M from Rosewell Computer Tower. Uh, when you're screwing the, the motherboard down, make sure that, don't put force into it to the point is, if you can't move it anymore, that's it, it's done, it's good to go. Um, that's it, I'm super satisfied. Let's take a look right here, look at the back. That's how the back looks. Looks nice and official, beautiful, awesome. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. Uh, again, I'm going to continue our December 2016 build, our special build. Uh, you guys got to just continue watching to know why is this special. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And subscribe to get, uh, you know, the latest and greatest uh, reviews and videos from this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.